Welcome to Read Ancient Languages, I'm Dr. Fausto Labruto. You're looking at a 3D scan of a clay tablet with a cuneiform text written on. This clay tablet was written 3,500 years ago, during the late Bronze Age, in ancient Anatolia, which is modern-day Turkey, in a language called Hittite. The image is kindly provided by the University of Mainz in Germany. Today I would like to show you how this Hittite clay tablet can be read. I will focus on a couple of lines on the text, and I will show you step by step how you get to make sense of the signs. The first thing to do is to look at a high definition photography of the tablet. The cuneiform characters were impressed on the clay with a reed pen, and they can be pretty hard to recognize, so let's look at them in a more readable font. Each of these characters is composed by wedge shaped markings arranged in different ways and each represents a syllable or sometimes a single letter. So if we assign a phonetic value to each character, we obtain a string of syllables which looks like this. We call this a transliteration. However, this is like the phonetic spelling of each word. If we want to read the real words, we must transform them from phonetic spelling into formal spelling, and the result is this text. Now I'm sure you're asking yourselves, why is the Hittite written with a mix of lowercase, uppercase and uppercase italics? The reason for this is that what is written in lowercase is Hittite. What's written in uppercase is another language called Sumerian, and what's written in uppercase italics is yet another language called the Akkadian. To understand why a Hittite text will be written in a mix of Hittite, Sumerian and Akkadian words, we have to take a step back and look at the history of the Hittite language in the context of ancient Near East. The Hittite people came from Anatolia, modern-day Turkey, and they spoke their language, Hittite, for centuries, before they actually started writing it. It was only when the Hittites started commerce with other populations or wars of expansion into other lands that they felt the need to write their language. And to write their language, they adopted the writing system used to write Akkadian, the main language of Mesopotamia, the land between the two rivers. This writing system was cuneiform. Britain Akkadian, however, in turn, used many words loaned from Sumerian, a language which had not been spoken for centuries, but which was still very popular for official writings. Therefore, when the Hittites wanted to write down their own language, they used a large number of words which they spelled in Sumerian or Akkadian, but which they read with the corresponding Hittite word. For example, if we return to our text and we look at the word ul, ul is Akkadian for not. So when the Hittites wanted to write down not, they spelled it ul, but they pronounced it natta, which is Hittite for the word not. Here you can see the similarity between Hittite natta and the English word not. Hittite is an Indo-European language and it's an ancestor of most European languages, including English. So now we can look at the text word by word. Igizian is a blend of a Sumerian word and a Hittite word. It means the one situated behind. Ta'an is untranslatable and is one of those particles commonly used in Hittite to emphasize a sentence. Gis is a Sumerian word here used as a determinant. A determinant is a word that is not meant to be read and it just tells us that the following word is an object made of wood. Hurkin is the object and it means will. Egirzis, another blend of Sumerian and Hittite, means the one situated in front. Anda vremiazi, together, mean overtakes. And ul, as we have seen, is an Akkadian word which means not. So, taken all together, the sentence we have seen on this ancient Hittite tablet means the back wheel never overtakes the front wheel. And it's a saying, an expression, which means that some things always happen in one way no matter what we do, or if you want that losers will always be losers, it's their destiny. So, today, this over 4,000 years old tablet can be seen in the Museum of Hittite Civilization in Ankara, Turkey. Thank you for listening to Read Ancient Languages. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram for updates.